Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to well, more of a late game stealthy assassin build. As you see in the early version, this is more later. Um, if you want to see the early version, well, the link will be down in the description. But in this one, as you can see, we have max stealth, we maxed out weightlifting, wellness. Those two don't really necessary, but we got our concealment, you know, which means we are a lot more stealthy, we do a lot more damage. Uh, we also got our ballistics maxed out and the rifle certification. We're working on marksmanship and eventually, for very late game, sharpshooting. If you want to take it well beyond that and just one shot anything, pretty much, is you want to go into weapon engineering. But for that, you need research methods. Why weapon engineering? So you can craft master, master level mods, which will make your weapon do a lot more damage and, well, you'll be able to customize any weapon you want. But with that said, let's see this build in action. Boom. Destroyed. We're destroying the turrets. As you can see, they they know where we are, but they don't. They're cautious. Who can do five times sneak damage? Yes, there were low level turrets. Fortunately. But it will do just fine. This build can be a little hard to level with. Especially if you're trying to rank up your skills. But. Ooh, we missed. There we go. But it's still. Pretty easy to kill everything. As you can see, one tapping. Yes, there are low levels. And boom. I believe there was a level 30 somewhere around. Oop, there he is. I'm getting tired of this. We're just gonna quietly stand still for me. Boom, two shot. We didn't get the sneaky. But boom, they didn't see us. We got full on stuff. Very, very easy to play later. It can be a little annoying as you gotta, you know, just be a little crouchy, a little stuffy, but you can clear pretty much anything and everything. Even higher difficulties with just that. And if you go get your marksmanship and, uh, ooh, can't go in there. You get not just marksmanship, but get your, uh, sharpshooting. You do even more damage, just pure one tapping everything. And if you go even weapon engineering, like I said, just the weapon damage you can get is ridiculous. You have the weapons that do not just 94, but imagine doing 180, 190 physical damage. Just pure annihilation. And like I said, it's pretty easy. It does take a bit of leveling. But if you are into being stealthy, you know, taking your time, let me see, we got caught. Ooh. Not great for us. It's still going to be pretty easy. But is it worth it? Well, I'll let you all decide. If you did enjoy this, I know it was a shorter video to showcase it. You know the progress stuff like that but that's gonna be it for this build i don't think i'm gonna be leveling it anymore because you've seen it in action you've seen it do amazing work uh and yeah that's about it but the first things uh i would suggest leveling is your stealth because being sneaky is what it's all about so getting stealth maxed out is huge then I would recommend going into ballistics, getting that leveled. At the same time, while you finish stealth, I would recommend maybe going weightlifting so you can carry more. Uh, wellness, just in case you get caught, you have a decent amount of extra health. You don't have to take weightlifting or wellness, you can take any other skills. But the big thing is, is getting to the concealment. Because concealment is going to make you do that more damage. and engaging in stealth make the enemies uh, lose interest in you on top of getting command like abilities you know getting all those extra buffs 
once you have your physical done, your stealth concealment done, definitely go into ballistics if you haven't done that yet. Rifle certification if you're into rifles. If not, you can go pistols if you're into that. Shotguns if you want. Or if you want to be uh, more melee, go dueling. You know, uh, then obviously go into marksmanship. If you want also use snappers, go into that. They do a lot more damage. So, uh, once you're done with that, definitely go sharpshooting. The sharpshooting, as you can see, your headshots will deal 50% more damage. You know, critical damage to leg shots by 50%. You know, just any critical, 50%. And range critical hits, kill, uh, kills increase your critical hit chance with all range weapons by 25%. So, if you have your marksmanship maxed out, getting that 15% increased crit chance on top of, you know, that, uh, your sharpshooting will be even better. And with weapon engineering, you can get a weapon that has uh, a powered semi-auto with a nice scope uh, silencer. So just have a really nice weapon. So you don't have to rely on finding or buying these weapons. Because you might get a weapon uh, that does a lot of physical damage. You know, some, uh, obviously not this, but something like this. But you can't use it because... It's not a silence, you know, so you'd be relying on this. That's obviously less damage, but that's all up to you. I'll be coming out with a different build pretty soon. With that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.